hey what's up everybody welcome to my channel and in this video we are going to do a deep analysis in fortnite which helps you to guys fixing your fps drops low fps and stutter issue with your low end or a high end pc because in this video we are going to guys talk about every single factor by fixing that you can guys get more fps in fortnite with your any pc build so guys here you can check it here right now i'm getting more than 900 fps with my this pc and if i just show you my settings of the fortnite which i'm using right now so here i'm using the windows full screen mode with the 2k resolution fps is on to the unlimited and all my settings on to the low and rendering mode is on to the uh, performance mode beta so guys let's start with this video but before guys jumping into this video guys if this is your first time here so please make sure to subscribe because all of the content which i upload on my channel that help you a lot so therefore please make sure to subscribe turn on the bell notification and drop a like on this video so let's start over this video so guys the first factor which we are going to guys talk about in over this video that is your resolution which we are using and how that impact on your hardware of your cpu of your gpu and ram in fortnite on to the left corner of my screen you can also check it out here my gpu my cpu and the ram and the fps i'm getting and also you can check it out here the stability of the fps in the uh, frame time section so first of all let's talk about uh, the resolution how it's impact in the fortnite so guys right now in front of you i am using the 2k resolution so most people like say on youtube like if you reduce your resolution your fps will be increased so let's just first test out this thing so let me just guys reducing my uh, this resolution from 2k to the 1080p this is a huge difference in the resolution or the pixel on screen so guys let's just apply the settings and now over the apply and you can check it out here guys still i'm getting around same fps just there is a little different like before i was getting around like 950 fps and now i'm getting around 980 fps with my this pc so now let's test it more if we just reduce our resolution more so than what's happened so guys let's go into settings again and check out if we reduce our resolution on the 1600 by the 900 let me just apply the settings and now here you can check it out here guys the fps is almost still the same i'm getting the same fps with the 920 but, but guys you can also check it out here the fps is little less or also my gp usage is reduced now therefore i'm getting guys unstable fps and i'm getting the low fps also and this guys this thing will also sometimes impact the fps drops and also impact the starter while you are uh, playing the fortnite so guys let's go in the next step of this testing we are going to now reduce our resolution onto the 720p so guys let me just apply the settings on 720p and guys again you can check it out here the fps i'm getting right now this is around 960 970 fps 980 fps there is not a big difference in the 9 in the 1080p or between the 720p big but guys the fps are still the same you can check it out here so therefore it is an important thing guys if you have a good uh, gpu so don't guys ever reduce your resolution for uh, you think like that help you to reduce increasing your fps in fortnite or your performance so therefore guys always remember don't ever reduce your resolution of the fortnite so guys now let's go for our next step so let me just set my resolution back on the 2k resolution let me uh, just apply it and here guys you can check it out here guys fps is almost the same there's not a big difference like it is right now on to the 980 uh, 860 fps 70 fps and now it's jump on to the 940 fps with the 2k resolution and now let's go for our next guys analysis of the fortnite and that is our 3d resolution into the fortnite so let me just go into the settings again and let guys just reduce our resolution onto the 85 percent and let's see what experience we will got after reducing this so hit apply and here guys you can check it out here the after reducing our resolution the fps is got a little bit improved but guys still it is almost the same there is not a big difference so let me just uh, let's just take this test onto the next level and reduce this resolution on to the 50 percent then hit apply and guys now you can check it out here the fps i'm getting right now that is in 960 there is not a big impact with the uh, 2k resolution 
but guys now let's reduce our resolution from 2k to the 1920 by the 1080p and let's see what is the difference so here guys on the 2k you can also check it out here there is a little fps drops because the cpu usage is now less and the gpu usage is also reduced before it was around 90 percent or 80 percent but now it reduced so now guys let's go for our settings again and let me just reduce the resolution of my fortnite hit apply and close out it so guys here you can check it out here after using even the resolution my fps is almost the same like before like before i'm getting the same fps and after using my resolution from 100 percent to 50 percent still my fps are same like before we have tested this thing and still the fps are same so therefore i will guys not ever recommend you to guys ever guys reduce your 3d resolution into the uh, fortnite if you reduce this resolution you will get more stutters because your gpu usage will be reduced before it was around 60 percent and after reducing over 3d resolution into the fortnite over gpu usage is now 50 percent so guys now let's increase this usage again and now apply the settings and guys you can check it out here over gp usage jump from 50 percent to 67 percent the 17 percent of the difference in the usage the more gp usage you have you will uh, get the more performance you will guys get into the game so therefore it is important to guys always use the high 3d resolution to the fortnite this is guys only my suggestion for the fortnite not for other game like the gta 5 or that kind of the game this suggestion is just for the fortnite you can apply the settings or these analysis in the fortnite so guys now let's go for our next setting which is our graphic settings and right now i'm in the performance mode let me just guys increase my view distance on the epic and my uh texture onto the medium let's just hit apply and now guys still you can check it out here there is not a big difference I'm getting around 930, 940 FPS with my uh, these settings. I'm getting right now. I'm using right now the epic distance and I'm getting the medium texture into the Fortnite. And still, guys, the FPS is guys uh, almost the same. If we just move it a bit, so guys, there is a uh, little guys the drop in FPS, but guys, still I'm not getting any kind of stutter in my uh, Fortnite with the settings so guys now let's go for our next settings and uh, let me just set this back all the settings onto the back again and guys now if you have the rtx card so you can also use another settings but it is right now not enabled like if you uh, play with the fortnite with the direct 11 so there you will go the dls option you can also use that what they will actually do that they will like reduce your 3 resolution onto the uh, 50 percent and uh, but still you will get the better quality into the fortnite you will not get a blurry objects in the fortnite DLC, dlc is help you a lot if you have that option so guys once you're done with all the settings now let's guys now jump into the next settings that is over windows resolution how that impact in over uh, all the settings so guys let me just go into the settings go for the windows full screen or in the full screen now just reduce our resolution and uh, now let's go for our display settings have a look on the obs it is working properly don't worry so here is our resolution i'm using uh, the desktop resolution this is the uh, 2k resolution right now i'm using so let me just reduce it onto the 1920 by the 1080p and let's see what's the difference we will get so let's open the obs here is some screen black i will fix it in the editing don't worry uh, so here we are in the fortnite back let me just go in settings set my full screen onto the 1920 by the 1080p hit apply and now let's just see what is the fps difference we will got after reducing it so guys here you can check it out here the fps difference is not anymore into the fortnite because i have reduced my uh, windows <laughs> I have even guys reduce so guys here you can check it out here i'm getting around 870 fps uh, in my fortnite after changing the resolution before we were using the 2k resolution on our window and we are getting around 930 fps around that but guys right now we have reduced our uh, windows resolution 
and still guys you can check it out here our gpu which is now more than 90 percent 80 percent and our fps is also reduced so what that mean guys if you use the high resolution on your windows you will get more fps into the fortnite so that's the factor you also guys need to guys worry about you need to increase your windows resolution and then guys reduce or use the same resolution into the fortnite that will not impact anymore in your fortnite so guys once you're done with all the settings now let's go for the next step and guys let's see well, how you can also improve your FPS or performance in the Fortnite. So first of all, let me just uh, set over Windows resolution onto the Windows mode. Hit apply. And guys, let's go for our uh, task manager. So let me just open the task manager. So guys, here is our task manager and guys, here you can check it out here, our RAM usage and now we need to guys turn off all of the background application which also guys help you, help us to increasing the performance of our uh, Fortnite or our FPS. So guys, here is some program which is guys running in our background like the Discord, I'm uh, using it right now so let me just close the OBS Studio. Here is the MSI, here is the Steam, also let's close out it and uh, here is the park control guys if you want to guys use this application i have made a proper video on my channel how you can guys create a custom power plan on your computer for getting more performance so guys make sure to also watch my dad video that also help you a lot you guys getting the more performance out of your pc so once you guys uh close these applications or these guys uh programs from your background so you can check it out here the difference in the memory use before it was around 51 percent now it is 46 percent the ram usage is also important into the fortnite the low ram usage guys you are uh, using by your windows and utilizing more ram in your fortnite that is also help you to get more fps or more performance out of your fortnite so once you're done now just open up the fortnite again Set the full screen, set it onto the 920 by 1080p. Go for this apply button, and uh, you can check it out here, guys. The FPS is now 900 FPS. I'm getting right now with the 920 by the 1080p. The same resolution I'm using in the Fortnite and same resolution I'm using into the Windows also. So I'm getting 960 FPS. The CPU usage is reduced more. The RAM usage is guys now also reduced and the GPU usage is now more stable. This is around 70%. This is not the high and this is also not the low. So this is the best uh, guys the stats I'm getting right now. And because of that I'm getting guys more stable FPS into the Fortnite. You can check it out here. This is 980 FPS. The higher number I'm getting right now after doing all the steps. So guys here is our last step and by doing it you can fix the status and the fps drops in the fortnite this will not help you guys increasing your fps but this will make your fortnite much smoother than before so guys let's start over the step so what you need to do guys you need to download the msa afterburner on your computer open up the link from descriptions and that will take you here onto this website you need to go for this search tab and search for the msi and you will find out this first article download msa afterburner for pc open up this article click on this download button and download the afterburner on your computer once you download simply install it i'm already guys uh, using this uh, program on my computer so here is the msa afterburner once you install this software on your computer so you need to go for this windows search and search for riva tuner riva tuner static server you need to open up the riva tuner on your computer this will guys a start in your this taskbar double click here and you will go to this kind of interface of the reboot tuner so what you need to do you need to now lock your fps by using the reboot tuner because when i have a low end i5 second gen a processor i also use the same method to uh, fixing the stutters and making my fps more stable so how you can do it you need to open up the software and here into this frame limit section guys if you are getting this stable 60 fps so i 100% suggest you to set your frame rate limit on to the 60 and if you are getting this table 30 fps easily from your computer so change this number on the 30 if you are getting the 100 fps so set this on to the 100 if you are getting the 150 fps so i suggest you to just set this number on to the 120 don't set it on to the 150 set this number on to the 120 and you will get guys much smoother experience into the fortnite from your any low end pc so guys that is my suggestion and this is the analysis of the fortnite by following guys you can get a huge performance increase into the fortnite so i hope so you love it so please make sure to subscribe turn on the bell notification and leave your opinion about this video in the comment sections so till the next video peace out